Hey guys, Goku here, and welcome back to another installment of Goku Reacts, and we are here with the final, um, part in this three-part crazy reaction to 14 Horror Stories Animated. We're gonna be finished off this, there's about six stories left, so I said why not just put it in the third, uh, part, and just top this whole thing off, you know? And we're back here in this creepy, um house, mansion, whatever it is, and, uh, oh god, it's thunderstorming and everything, and raining outside, and, uh, I don't know what to do! Why did I come back here alternating? Oh, why'd you have to alternate the houses, Goku? Now we're in this predicament, but let's not worry about that right now. Anyway, guys, uh, did you know, links to the original video are always in the descriptions down below, so please go support the official release, and, uh, let's get into this, you know? You know, like and subscribe as well, and, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, the honeymoon. Interesting. Me and my wife were on our honeymoon in Hawaii. That's nice. We were on the island of Oahu. Hey, on the beach. Oahu! My wife got up to go to the bathroom, and when she got back, looking she told thick. me that there was a creepy <laughs> Sorry, man watching her walk into the bathroom. And when she tried to walk out, he blocked her path. That jacket looks she familiar. She got away because there were two other people walking into the bathroom, so he got out of the way. I asked her what the man looked like, and she looked over. But unfortunately, she said he was gone. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Our hotel was walking distance you gotta, from the beach, like a little so stalker got coming quickly, in. But we made sure to report the man to a police officer we saw walking on the beach. And then we washed up before going out to All eat. Alright! We ate at a fancy seafood place and did some nice, walking around nice. afterwards. But be on the Close alert for midnight, that stalker. We finally went back to the room and began to lay right. down. Then we got a knock at the door. So, nobody should be knocking at your door. Y'all some honeymooners. The door and saw a man in Hey, you know, he looks sketchy. Don't open that door. Oh, get the, get the, get the, get the, get the knife, get a gun or something. He told me he left something in the room while cleaning earlier and needed to get it out. The only thing. We left then why would you open it? The door all day. Then I noticed he was making eye contact with my wife. Are you not my putting two and two together? I didn't understand at first, but it was too late for that. The man had already lunged at me, holding my throat with one hand while reaching oh, behind himself with ah! another. He pulled out a Kick knife him in the dick! swinging at me, and if it weren't for my wife coming over and smashing his face Well, you were completely useless. Your wife is a savage. <laughs> the commotion is that Muriel? That's Muriel! That is totally Muriel compared to the cowardly dog. The situation worse. We called the police, and so did the hotel. It turned into a huge, horrible scene. You got what he deserved. just happy to be alive. I don't feel any sympathy for him. <laughs> we were questioned when the police arrived. I love how the wife's all bloody. Around us claimed to have witnessed it all. She the real MVP. <laughs> we still don't know what kind of intentions this <laughs> You know damn well what intentions he had. I would say he wanted to get to my wife. Yeah, no shit. He must have been one very dumb person to think he would get away with something like this in such a public Well, building. yeah, dumb people tend to think that way. You know? I've come for your wife. And then he doesn't. <laughs> wife was a savage. Late night delivery. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'll never forget this night. The pizza place I worked at was about to close, and I was getting ready to go home when the phone rang. All right. I was working the counter alone that night, so like, I was taking calls. Like six bucks? Hold on. Let me, let me call your pizza phone. place. I can get a small piece for, silence, for six bucks. So I hung up. About a minute later, the phone rings again, so I pick up again. Still silence. I was about to hang up again when I heard the very weak and cold voice of an old woman Ooh. on the other end. She said she wanted a regular pie delivered. I remained polite on the phone, but on the inside I was screaming. I just wanted to get home. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you on that one. I called out to my boss that somebody is requesting a delivery. He told me I had to go. You shouldn't have said nothing. You should have said, well, but believe me, first, boss! I realized it's another tip, and the old ones usually tip That's the fair. most, so... I just fair enough, fair enough. Okay. I took down the address and Lucky told her it would be lame. there soon, but she had already hung up. That's rude. I thought that was yeah, that was very rude. I ordered and yelled to the chef that I needed one regular. Something tells me she ain't no sweet old lady. I just go home after the delivery, yeah. as the place would be closed. 
So a little before 10 o'clock, I got in my car and put the address into my GPS. The house was seven miles away. The GPS took me to the quiet side of town. I arrived to at the least house. there's some houses a around. Small, one floor house and a very quiet yeah, and empty Well, at least block. there is some houses around. I took the pizza and walked up to the door and rang the doorbell. There were no this lights on. This place was creepy. House. It's giving me the shivers. I hoped that she hadn't given Ugh. me the wrong address. I rang the doorbell again. There was still no answer. I was about to give up when I turned my head and saw somebody standing. Ugh! Ugh! Give me a. Give me the willies. Ugh! Eevee, eevee. I eventually got closer to the window to see the person. It was an old woman, probably in her late seventies. Late seventies? She at least a thousand years old. I think her. I think I found uh uh King uh Supreme Kai's long lost sister. Maybe his lover. I don't know. She screamed it louder. Ugh, oh God! No! 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 No, man! No! 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 no. Uh, you need to get back to your car. My spine. I still remember that exact face she made through the window. Look like a bitter ex-wife of <laughs> Supreme Kai. Or old Kai. So not not Supreme Kai. Old Kai guys. I had to text my Ugh. boss about this. I shot him a quick text Ugh. and started my car, ready to yeah, go away. I looked to my right to get one more. Oh, so go! Damn it! Don't right do that! Passenger side window, giving me the same stare she had given me before. I put my car in drive and drive. The hell on! Looking back, my boss never Screw made me your boss. To again. Man, it really you use a scream. He used the scream theme. That's what easily one of the most recognizable killer theme songs. Trick or treat. <laughs> oh man. It was Halloween night of 2007. Oh, I was a kid school, at this time. And I was with my friends, Ivan, Ryan, and Jesse. We were all dressed as the Super Mario hey. characters. I was Luigi! Luigi since I was the second tallest. Ivan it's was a me, Mario, Mario. Was short and buff. Not that Mario yeah. was buff. Jesse was I just gave up my spot at Smash Bros. Skinny. And Ryan was very <laughs> just very uh, fat. So uh. they were the perfect group costumes for us. We live in a very non-congested suburban neighborhood with a decent amount of space in between houses. On Halloween, that's yeah. the worst thing ever. Less yeah. bearing for uh, We had a pretty... Um, we lots of um, for hours, houses way when I was dark, like, and they weren't like... Came the time when most closed off, they were actually were pretty home. close. My feet started to hurt, and I had to constantly switch arms for holding the now ten. Hey, but you know you're gonna be ripping the benefits when you get home. Going until our bags were completely full. A lot of the houses by now weren't answering anymore. It was probably past their cutoff time for giving candy to trick or treaters. Approaching our next house, we saw a purple bucket on the stoop. I know. I was the one to get close enough to oh, realize it was empty. That is the, the worst, worst feeling ever. ever. I turned around when I heard a knock at the window of the house. Yeet. We all looked at the window. Couldn't see anyone, but heard someone call out, Wait. The door opened, and an older man... Instant pedophile! Warnings, I don't trust that. Sorry. Outside. He told us to come inside so he can... Get HELL TO family. THE NO! I said we could just wait out here. You don't have to get like, my mama never told me to go in there with strangers. You even look sketchy. Nonsense. Don't you give me your little, your little nonchalant, just, no, I'm we're not doing that. And said, it's all right. Yeah, we, Come yeah, on, like, bye. I told the guy to take uh, care yeah. and apologized. He I love how the eyeballs is, oh, they're not coming off, in. Not we're just anything. pedophiles, we don't want. I felt bad, but at the same time, that guy. He is a creeper. Like a creeper and and, I and inviting children into the house, please. If the story ended there, it wouldn't be scary. So, of course, it didn't end there. We skipped a few of the guys' neighboring houses just to get further away and continued on with our business. We were walking down close to the nature preserve now, so there weren't many houses around us. At this point, we were now walking back closer to Jesse's house. I noticed Ryan had stopped Yeah, walking, he feels something like, what's going on what's here? Up. He said... He heard someone moving from behind the trees in the preserve. Now this was before everyone's phones had flashlights, so we couldn't just go searching in the woods. Why would for you though? Besides, we were just telling Ryan that it must have been yeah, like it's or something. You may think this is a bit of a Not really. story, but when things like this happen in real life, you always assume the more logical possibility. It's just natural. 
Why would we assume we were being followed? Well, nowadays people get I a bit more paranoid. Ryan's shoulder yeah, and nowadays. Forward. Well, you know. A little ways down the street, me and Ivan picked up on the sound as well. When we all stopped, the sounds of the footsteps from beyond the trees stopped oh, as well. Ivan yelled at the obvious stalker to go away, or we would beat the shit out you of him. You little there, ain't you, Ivan? I knew he was just bluffing, though. I could hear the nervousness in his voice. The snap of a twig from beyond yep, the trees time to go. triggered a fighter Time to go! Super we speed! <laughs> and for it. Ivan was at first charging... No, 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 it's, 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 time, it's time to go, yeah. yeah let's go. Taken off. He ran down the dark street, and we all noticed the sounds of at least two or three pairs yeah, of footsteps... Y'all better get y'all plumber skills on fleek, because it's time to go! We banked it hard Watch out for turtles! Street when it finally came up, mushroom. And straight Grab a mushroom, that'll give you strength. His house through the back uh. door. The first thing we did was peek out through his living room window. We couldn't see anyone. We all had to gather our thoughts and discuss what the hell just went down in his living room. When all of a sudden, we heard Jesse's backyard gate slam oh, shut. No. Jesse dove to turn off the lights. There was a click and a bang from down in the den. It was more than likely Jesse's back door. That's right, arm we yourselves. To go down so I get, to get the knives ready. Face them. It's about to be a battle. Jesse turned on his back door light, but there was nobody out there. Huh? Just then, the front door opened, and we all screamed like animals. Jesse's mom and sisters came rushing downstairs. They had just gotten home from their friend's little house party. We all rested assured, knowing it was just them. Well, if they Jesse came from downstairs, why was the door opening, though? That couldn't have been less them. Dramatic. Me and Ivan went There's no way! That they can't, you night. can't rush down the stairs while opening the door! At 12.30 a.m., I got a disturbing text message. It was from Jesse. It said... Yeah, I bet it wasn't! Mom. It's so I right! back saying, what? He responded back quickly, saying, it wasn't my mom in the backyard. Yeah, they ca literally came downstairs! I the buttons on my phone, responding back. What do you mean? There was a long pause before he finally told me that his mom and sisters said they never went in the backyard. I told him to immediately check the backyard from his upper deck. He had already done just that. Ooh. He also told his mom everything, and she had already I'm not gonna lie, dude, your mom's kinda hot. They didn't find anyone back there, Just but Jesse did saying. mention the guy who invited us in <laughs> while trick-or-treating. Nothing ever Let became of that, good. and nothing ever happened at Jesse's house again after that one Let Halloween night. Oh, I couldn't read him in time. Happy Halloween! That's coming up soon, that's the next Halloween coming! Oh, yeah. Hallucination. You can see some weird things when you're tired, but the thing about this story... I wasn't yeah. tired. Me and the family were on vacation to some this resort in a very rural area of Pennsylvania to make the setting creepier. There weren't many young people there for me and my brothers to hang out with. It seemed like more of an adult right. resort. Got a candy machine. But then one day when I was walking stuff, outside I mean, of the main something. lodge of the resort, I for some reason looked up to a window on the second floor and saw a teenage girl looking down at me. From that distance, she looks kind of cute, so I gave her a word. All right, you know, but trying to run some game. I, 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 I can reaction. feel you on that. Yeah, so I just yeah. moved on. However, later that same day, I was so bored that I was sitting on the swing set at the little playground of the resort. And that's when I saw the same girl again. She was a little ways away from me, down past the playground, close to the tree line. And she was just standing there. That's at some me. creepy stuff, man. Being a teenage guy, my hormones. No! Don't let hormones control you. I got you. Off the swing and began walking over to her. Stop thinking with your penis. And I started getting closer to her. I realized she wasn't as cute as I thought she was. There was something about her face that just gave Dude, off a creepy vibe. Dude, if it's off-putting, why are you wanting towards her? But if I had to say, I think it would have to do with her eyes and her mouth. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'd say going back the other way. Halfway over to her, she turned around completely and ran into the woods. And I mean, she full on then ran why? into the woods. I... I stopped in my tracks, completely yeah, turned Yeah, go off. away. This girl seemed like a freaky stalker. Or, or so, just, yeah, just leave. Hey, that's a portal the rest of thing. Our stay <laughs> at the resort. I like that. It's a portal. During the car ride home, miles and miles away from the resort, I was thinking about her. How maybe if I followed her into the woods, I really? would have gotten laid. Really? Even though there was something you, you, off you about do, her you face. You're doing too much. 
You're doing but too much. This one next made me feel like my heart dropped into my stomach. Looking down ahead, I saw the same girl standing by the tree line on oh, the side of the highway. Oh hell no! As we sped no, past no, her, no, 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 I saw no, no, her no. head turn so that she was always looking right at me, even through the tinted minivan windows. I asked my parents if they saw her, and they just responded. The hell? Is that oh, Chi Chi? Hey. Is it? What the Senior hell is my wife doing in here? That is that go hard? Head. Is that you? And that the girl. I recognize that butt anywhere. Head. That is totally my wife. What is she doing in horror stories? Dairy's pot. Oh, okay. There used to be a pond about half a mile away from my old house that I would commonly go fishing in. It was nicknamed Daryl's Pond. Pond. Sorry, I said Dairy's. Daryl's no Pond. Daryl was or why it was called that, but nobody owned it, so people would once in a blue moon go fishing there as well. It was usually me gotcha. by myself, though. Gotcha. I had dug a pole into the ground where I would tie a noose to and from my small kayak. I'd say it was about 3 in the afternoon when I rode out to the middle of the pond, the sweet spot for getting a decent catch. There was another person coming out from the trees. I waved at him and gave him a smile. He hopped into a small boat floating by the edge of the pond and began to roll uh, over okay. to me. As he got close enough where trying to speak to him wouldn't come off as obnoxious, I gave him a friendly... Perfect day, isn't it? Yes, absolutely, he hmm. said. He didn't say anything after that, and I started to feel yeah, a bit awkward, a bit awkward as, as well. if I were obligated to keep some kind of conversation I rolling I don't now. know about that one, but you know. So, uh, you come out here to throw some lines? I asked. No, I don't actually fish. Okay? Oh. Well, it's never a bad day to relax on the pond, I said. He continued to row closer to me until his boat collided with mine, creating a big thing. The hell? I was genuinely uncomfortable now. I didn't feel threatened, just really. I was feel pretty threatened! I was only 24 years old. This guy looked like he was late 40s or 50s. There was an awkward silence. I tried to just act like I was focused on trying to make a catch, but by now that wasn't even on my mind. This guy was weird. Yeah. I didn't know Maybe what he wanted, you should go? I was uncomfortable being so close to him. I felt him looking at me, or at least in my direction, as I faced halfway to the opposite direction of him. I took a quick glance to my right. Yeah. Eddie's looking he at you. staring at me. Nope. I decided to be ballsy and lock eye contact. What are you guys, lovers? No! After about four seconds, he looked away. So, uh, where are you from? I asked him. Up there, he pointed behind himself in the direction of the woodsy hill leading past the dirt road. Oh, you live by Suffolk? I asked. Uh, no. No, I'm not, he said. Uh. What made you decide to come out here? I said. Why not? Yeah, you to need to get out of there. Sciences that kept coming up. His responses were dry. He didn't contribute anything to what was barely yeah, you need a conversation. To go. You need to go. He just sat there, not doing anything. With yeah, screw this guy. Face, looking Pull at Eric Cartman. Screw this guy, and you're throughout. going home. I was creeped out. My heart was racing at this point. I go as far as saying that I was nervous for my life. We were surrounded by trees in all directions, in the middle of the pond. I started to row a bit closer to land, but in a very low-key kind of way, trying to play it off as me just trying to find a better spot That's to find smart. some fish. Uh, okay. I was horrified when I saw he was following me. What a great day, huh? Yeah. I felt a shake in my voice. I got close enough to the edge Get of the, the pond. the hell out of there! Again. I think I'm going to call it a day. I turned to see his reaction. He was still staring at me. But his smile was gone now. I the hell you can't! He said. He lifted his flannel. Nope! Run! 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 run super pocket. speed it! Super speed it! As I could process what I was looking at. Get the hell out of there! I the boat for land, ran the whole half mile uphill through the woods back to my house, and locked every door and window as soon as I made it home. I pulled down the blinds to the dining room window, leaving it open just a crack for peeking outside undetected. It started to get dark out, and I left every Maybe you should call the police, off, you know? Still peeking out to the front yard, making sure I wasn't followed. The time came when I finally decided I wasn't followed. 
I realize now, like you, that not calling the police immediately was a Yeah, yeah, you thank you. Probably the I best idea to call the cops unless you know there's a maniac with a weapon! My bedroom was gun. on the second floor, so I wasn't worried about being watched through the window. About half an hour after shutting the light and falling under the covers, I heard the sound of leaves crunching from outside. Oh no. I sat up to hear it more clearly. It was definitely something walking around out there. Normally I would assume it was a deer or a bear, but after what just happened, I... I was still in That's a good thing. Mode. Now call the cops. I sat up as still as a statue, except for my shaking out of fear, waiting as the sounds of the steps stopped. Hey, buddy, you Oh, hell there? no. Are you trying to sleep? Sorry. It gave me a bit of a shiver down my spine. I felt like a hundred pounds just fell directly onto my chest. It was the same voice. I knew it right away. I didn't make a sound. I crept out of the room, quietly downstairs to the kitchen. I grabbed the phone, practically crawling on my way out to Go a military style. The open blinds. I called 911 like I should have earlier in the temporary safety good, of my bedroom. Good, good. I made sure to whisper into the phone as I was still hoping that he hadn't yet heard or spotted me. Twenty minutes felt like an hour. It always feels like that. Bed, waiting for the police uh, to arrive that? in constant fear that I would hear glass breaking from downstairs. Or a thud on the back door. I'm getting paranoid or watching this. just a voice again from down below my window outside. The police did a thorough investigation of the property in nearby woods, turning up nothing. They suggested I stay with a friend or a family yeah. member for a few days. Yeah, that's best. And so yeah. I did. I never heard from or saw the man again, but I still moved a month later. <laughs> um, I yeah, deal with the I would have moved a whole week later, a day later. Being <laughs> watched through my windows. I feel much more comfortable fishing out by the bay now. Oh! Really? A Jason reference, really? Oh, damn it. Yeah, yeah. The last thing I saw was my alarm oh, clock flashing 12.07 those two before she pushed her long, rotting ah! knife through my chest, her other hand muffling my screams. I sat bolt upright, believed it was only a dream, but... As I saw my alarm clock read 12.06, I heard my closet door creak open. Oh, hell open. no. Yeah, this is the two sentences, uh, thing. Growing up yeah. with cats and dogs, I got used to the sound of scratching at my door while I slept. Now that I live alone, it's much more unsettling. <laughs> I begin tucking him into bed and he tells this me... This is what I know, I've seen this one, yeah. Daddy, monsters under my bed. I look underneath for his amusement. It's the grudge! Him, yep, the grudge. Him under the bed, staring back at me, quivering and whispering, Daddy, there's somebody on my bed. Nope. He just had to add these in. I always thought my cat had a staring problem. She always seemed fixated on my face. Until one day when I realized that she was always looking just behind me. Ooh, Santa! Whoa! Merry Christmas, guys. In Christmas yet, but Merry Christmas. <sighs> Easter eggs of 2015. All right, well, let's let's look at some of these Easter eggs. Inspired by Hitler and Mason Silent Hill. Oh, okay, okay. The True Night Marsh. Okay, um. Rick for Ricky. I did not see that. Rick for Ricky Morty. <laughs> hey, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought so. From the ring. Yeah. I had Bloody Mary. But yeah, that's from the ring. Babysitting stories. Johnny Bravo's leaving. How did I not catch that? Wow. I knew it! That was Alex, uh, uh, Clockwork Orange, yeah. Oh, man. P3, I knew it! I, even I got that one, yeah, I got that one. Pizzeria! Space Odyssey, huh? <laughs> that was a nice little touch. I didn't, I didn't spot that. Okay, okay, <laughs> these are kinda cool. Vacation stories! I KNEW THAT LOOKED FAMILIAR! Oh, 
The Shining! The Shining again? The Shining again? <laughs> he really likes The Shining. Muriel! I, that's Muriel! I got that one! Yeah, that's Muriel. Totally called that one. That was, that was too obvious, though. Oh my god, Odd World. That is an awesome game. The monsters. I knew that sounded familiar. I never knew. I never knew. I never knew. <laughs> the Mothman. I thought that looked familiar. I didn't I didn't say anything, but it looked familiar. Rick Slenderman, Jeff the Killer, Ben Drowned. Yeah. Yeah, he listen to people have had. Pa Portal called it. Let me ask my wife. Oh, what are you doing in, in, in a creepy horror story, TG? And I'm the bad father, though. Yet she's, yet she's. I know she was cheating on me. She got other kids. She was cheating on me, guys. Base uh, Sega bastard. Oh. Rider 13, I knew it. Yeah, I thought that was a Rider 13 ending. I'm still tripping on Chi Chi, guys. She has a whole nother family! Ain't this but a. Yeah, I have the grudge, I call it that. You think you know a girl, huh? You, you, you give her everything you want, and, and this is what happens. The phone call, huh? Come on. Oh. Oh, the, yeah, I don't think I even saw this video though. Amazing year, see you at 16. I gotta, so maybe I should watch. I might watch the 16 one next month for the Halloween themed because we're gonna be doing Halloween more. Whoa, that was certainly something. I enjoyed it. It was scary and chi chi. Alright, and people call me the unfaithful one. What the hell was she doing in this, huh? Had a hold of their family. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't go, hon. So, yeah. I knew she was cheating on me, guys. She's off. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you think you know somebody? After all that I've done for her, and people want to get on my case? Well, this is indisputable proof that she's been creeping. I knew she'd been creeping. And you wonder why I do the things I do. She's been creeping, guys. And I'm upset about it. I'm out here cabin in this creepy house. Doing this and trying to make ends meet, and she ain't doing this to me! How dare she! How dare she! Like, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go for a, a nice long jog around the world, and maybe I'll do a couple of. Maybe have a couple of, um. I don't know what I'm gonna have, honestly. Just, I, I'm so discombobulated right now. Just, just, just. just Whatever, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Just don't do me dirty like that. And you go do me dirty like that, man. <laughs> oh, well, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves. I'm out of here. Let me get out of this creepy house. Bye.